Oh, hey there. Just brushing up on my organ skills up here. But the reason I'm up here today is actually to deliver some bad news. This past week, we found out that our organist over the last year, Joan, is retiring. And Joan's doing this because she has a brother to take care of. She's also leaving her other organ job at another church in La Mesa, and we are really gonna miss her. If you've been with us long, you know that last summer, we went through a long phase of trying to find an organist for Sunday mornings. And it was difficult because the organ is an art that not many people are learning nowadays. It's not pursued by many musicians. And we went through some doozies, to say the least, before we stumbled upon Joe. Now, I know what you're probably thinking is, well, what's next? I want to comfort you and let you know that the organ is still gonna be here. You'll still hear it on Sunday mornings. Though we're not looking for a replacement for Joan, we are looking to provide the same standard of music for Sunday mornings, although that may include less organ at times. You know, one of the things I've realized the, the longer that I've been in the church is that we often argue or worry about things that are adiaphora, that aren't in scripture, and we argue and bicker about things that have become idols to us. There's nothing that becomes more idolatrous in the church than music. For centuries, people have argued back and forth. If you remember when we did our series on thriving family worship, we talked about how uh, several, several times the, the Pope would say, well, we shouldn't have a piano, it's too romantic, or we shouldn't have the organ, it's a bar instrument, or we shouldn't use stringed instrument. All this back and forth, and yet when we go into God's word, we see a wide use of instrumentation, or no instrumentation at all. No matter what instruments we use within the church, what we seek to do is the same. We seek to give glory to God, to lead us into deep prayers of adoration and thanksgiving and confession, all of that. And that will continue here at Christ Lutheran, no matter what instrument is used. But I still wanna let you know, you will hear this on Sunday mornings. <laughs> This has been your weekly update. Have a great week.